set out to make this documentary about the limit laws, I never imagined that the greatest takeaway would be the friends I made along the way. As I began to research the limit laws in the ancient books, I noticed a place called Ilian Grimont was mentioned many times. I soon found out it was the island of the functions. I knew I had to go, and I soon set out on my journey. To get to my destination, I took a Bon Girac and saw Bosque Transcendental and Isla de Agua and Los Incantables Montañas and finally Prado Hadas. Before I got to Eileen Gnome. As soon as I arrived, I was welcomed by all the functions, and they told me to get warm by the fire. Welcome, welcome! Hey, thanks for coming so much! We're so glad to have you here! I was curious how everything worked here, so I said, how does everything work here? Hi, I'm Seven, and I'm Identity. And these are real coins. Pick any coin you like. Okay, I'll choose pi. Calculating, calculating. Seven. See, I now, now you have another real coin. Okay, what about you, identity? Let's see. Calculating, calculating. Hi. See, I always give you back the same coin. Okay, let's try negative three. Calculating, calculating. Seven. I'm the constant function seven. Okay, what about you, identity? Calculating, calculating. Negative three. Here, we want to show you something else. Look at how some of us don't have any holes or jumps on the left. And on your right, we have functions with holes and jumps. The ones on the left are called continuous functions. And our limit as x goes to a, x goes to a is just the function value at a. So whatever coin we give you, that's also our limit because we're continuous. Okay, I'm the constant function. So let's make a general rule about constant functions. No matter what a is, the limit as x goes to a of c is always going to be c for me. Since I'm 7, the limit as x goes to any real number of me is going to be just 7. And I'm the identity function. So for whatever a, as the limit as x goes to a of me, is always going to be a. Because that's also my function value, and I'm continuous. And then the smoke spoke the limit laws. First, the sum law. And the difference law. And the constant multiple law. And the multiplication law and the power law, and the square root law, and the division law. There's so much that you can create just from constant function and the identity function. Look at this example. The limit is x goes to 2 of x cubed plus 7x divided by square root 7x plus x squared. Well, that's just the identity multiplied by itself three times, plus constant function times the identity, and the square root of the constant function times the identity, plus the identity times itself again. Then, using the limit laws, I can just take the limit of each individual uh, piece. 
So 2 times 2 times 2 plus 7 times 2 over square root 7 times 2 plus 2 times equals 22 divided by 3 square root 2. Hey, thanks so much for, for being so welcoming to me. Hey, thanks for coming. Can you come again sometime? See you soon. I finally said goodbye and got in my boat and headed out on my journey home. I passed by the fairy meadow and the island of water, by the transcendental forest and the uncountable mountains. Taking the twists and turns of Moon River, thinking about my new friends. Bet you thought they were going to throw me in that fire. Nope, made it home safe, but I'll never forget Function Island. <laughs>